Hey guys, it's Patrick Jensen here. Welcome back to another speed painting. Uh, we have some time today to have some fun. So let's uh, let's jump to it. We are going to make a fun image, I think. I think it'll be fun. Um, we're going to have a room. Let's get, uh, let's go ahead and have some fun, some texture. There we go. And set to multiply. Uh, so we're going to create a room, uh, kind of a sci-fi e room, um, with a vent in the middle, like that, something like that. Cool. And then let's get. Okay, cool. So something like that. And then we're gonna create a like uh, a robot right there. Um, with a big old snout. He's like that. He's got like these big shoulders. Oh, oh man. And then he's like kind of like that. He's got his arm down like that. He's got his other, arm, or you know, the arm up like that. Like this, and he's being like backlit by the steam. Okay, coming up. Cool. In a diagonal fashion. Create a little dynamic composition. Cool. And he's got like an arm back here. Okay. Cool. It gets darker. Well, like that. Cool. And then maybe more of an abdomen coming in. And he's got one leg like out like this. And maybe the back leg is, is not like that. Yeah, there we go. And so maybe he's getting put together, right? In this room. And we're gonna go widescreen. Because it's fun. Alright, we gotta fill this. Continue. Nice. And he's in this like uh, room that has maybe some orange glass. Oh, yeah, maybe some, something like that. Let's do. Hmm. We're gonna think about the room structure, but uh, what if we do like uh, whoops, a circle. Let me think. Yeah, new layer. Okay. We're going to fill that guy. Give it some perspective because that's always fun. All right, there we go. Yeah, put that down here. All right. Dupe it. Shrink it. All right, set that to multiply. All right. These guys. We're going to skew it. Perspective. Yeah. Should go big. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Something like that. Set that to. Oops. <laughs> Not multiply. Let's put that in a group, and then we'll jump through these guys. Uh, find something. Oh man, that's fun. Now it's different, but let's see. Invert that. There we go. And we can decrease the. Okay. It's filling the composition. That's okay. Just thinking. Yeah. See that? Okay. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. Mask. Um, yeah. Let's get rid of it there. Cool. Starting to see it. And new layer. And what if we like go into the yellows? Back here. Yeah. So 
So I want like, I want a couple things. I want, no, we're gonna go, because this is here, this is not angled like that. We're going, there we go. I wanna do a couple things. I want the blue light and him to be really just like, kind of backlight, backlit and featured. But then I wanna indicate the idea that he is in our lab that has some depth to it. I think that would make a nice visual image. Let's see, what if we do some screen? Yeah, try that. All right, let's, fl let's flatten the brush, okay? All right, and make just a couple. And, you know, create some track laying. Let's get some uh, color dodge action. I don't want to get it to actually you know what let's leave that for now okay uh, there we go somewhere around in there perfect and we'll get rid of that behind that guy nice oh this is gonna be fun all right, let's keep going. So we got this like, I don't know if he's gonna to be top lit. Let's, let's try a couple of things. So um, I'm gonna dupe everything, paste everything. And I've got color dodge on. So we're gonna just try first up lighting or, you know, top lighting that thing instead of normal and see what we find. See if we like it. So the idea is, you know, that either there's a light behind him or uh, under him in all this fog and steam and stuff, you know. And I'm not sure. Oh, dude, what if this is water? Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Oh, jeez, he's like dripping. So I'm getting excited, as you can tell. This is this is fun stuff. I hope you enjoy watching these. I, I sure have fun. Um, we got to get real saturated with that. There we go. Oh man, it's like a pool of water. Oh, and he's coming out of it. There we go. It's like green. Oh man. Okay, get the blue. Very good. There we go. Rather. All right, we'll get that looking better later. And might have to tweak our perspective. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Here we go. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Take that off multiply or on normal normal brush yeah and let's see you know what we need uh, we need uh, we need some rake not that one the other one uh, sure yeah that's fine there we go oops I always love when that happens, don't you? All right. Oops, did it again. That one's okay, I don't mind. I keep doing that. That's okay. All right, we're gonna duplicate that layer because we might need it again later. later. All right, scale down, perspective, sweet. All right, 
get it over there a little bit. Yeah, oh, no, we're over here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, something like that, that's good. All right, set that to like what, overlay or something? Or maybe, that's nice, pin light. Okay, put a mask on it, invert the mask. Yeah, let's get our fuzzy brush. Fuzzy noisy. And paint in some grid. Nice. It's good for now, folks. Okay, we gotta get going on this guy. 10 minutes in. Okay, let's see. You know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have fun painting for a little bit. Let's get, uh, no, we'll keep this thumbnailed, like right about there. So we can see it from afar. That's just a duplicate version of this, okay. And let's go and have some fun with this guy. So let's see. Um, if we continue with this top lighting scenario, um, let's see, he's gonna have a chest piece like that. And uh, we're just gonna paint monochromatically. Uh, meaning we might introduce some, oh, that's cool. Happy accident. What if he's got those cool little spike things coming out of him? Um, I do want to add a secondary color to him, but we're not going to add that just yet. Nice. He's got a, a shoulder pad. Okay. Yeah, let's work on this snout. Oh man. Okay. What if we do? What if we do? He's an angry guy. Alien, I mean robot. You know what we need? We need some chalk. There we go. And let's get this texture down just a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's yeah, go ahead and introduce some other color. So we got the green from the water. Uh, I don't want him green. Maybe I'll put him into the blues or purples. Let's do blue. Blue? Let's try blue. We can always change it. It's a new layer, so in case we want to change it. All right, there we go. All right, so he's got this, and maybe like that. Big, big old legs. What if he's up late? Well, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We're gonna keep going on this. Cool. I wanna I wanna add some color to that. Yeah, that's nice.
That's cool. What's fun about mechs like this? You know, you just you kind of you can have fun poking poking holes in negative space. You know, you could just like make them have a you know two wires there, uh, or uh, you know change change their structure and stuff real fast. Um, if you just think about uh, a couple of components, you know, you got the leather like. Uh, uh, or you know the the inner workings right which would mainly be defined by dark cracks like what I'm doing right now okay or you can add you can think about just adding paneling and just focus on the paneling part of it um, so you'd grab that blue and like think about a panel like this over those dark shapes, right? And then just think about, okay, the panel, if it's a, getting hit by light, it would get lighter or not, you know. Um, that kind of thing. So mechs are kind of fun to do. Sixteen minutes. Okay. All right. He's looking. He's looking better. All right. What I'm gonna do is uh, let's let's focus a little bit on this ground and stuff and making this kind of fun. So, um, but actually, real before I do that, let's just double check that we're gonna be a good choice with the color with those blues. Hmm. Could be cyan, huh? That's neat. Bumblebee. Should we make a bumblebee? You know what? I like the blues. We'll give them some more color. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, new layer. Okay, okay. And we got our brush set to color dodge. And we're just gonna have some fun down here in the water. Cool. And you know what we might do? Grab some of that green and just, oops, take that color dodge off. We have some colors indicated, so we do not need to keep uh, uh, color dodging everything. We'll lose track of our colors and everything real quick. Nice. All right, so he's top lit. by with the steam and stuff, right? Then we have bottom light coming from uh, the pool. And we will go ahead and darken that water. Let's get a multiply. Get, get some help. There we go. That's fun. All right, new layer. Cool. And I do like, let's 
get that off. Um, let's see if we get that. We're on normal, normal. Okay, just had the wrong color. All right. I like the bit of uh, purple in the pool. I do want to get into yellows. Let's get. Let's go ahead and just pick that color. There we go. And get some more green in there. Sometimes you just have to color pick it. Cool. New layer. Let's just define some of this. So you'd have these like beams coming up, but maybe it's being lit by the water a little bit, right? So let's go ahead and grab some of that and just put some of that green bounce light into those awnings. And then cool. Secondary structure. Support beams, I mean. Nice lighting. Yeah, let's see. Actually, maybe there's. Maybe there's like consoles, you know? back. There we go. Okay, let's work on this fog because I don't like this right here. So let's just get rid of it. And shape some of this. I've got a smudge brush. I'm just kind of playing with. Let's get some uh, fog. Fuzz, you know what? Let's do that spray fuzzy. Kind of like that brush because it's got some noise to the fuzz. All right, new layer. Cool. Let's go ahead and define this a little bit. Nice, we're having fun. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna take this guy here, and we're gonna take this guy here, and put him up there. All right, take a better look at what we're doing. There we go. Okay, let's see. So we need some lighting over here. Okay, and you know what? We're going to, awesome. okay, wait. Let's stay focused. We need to, to help this out a little bit. I want that in the pinks a little bit. There we go. Add a secondary color to that fog, a little hue variation. A little that cyan. Oh man, that's fun. There. That was noisy. Set this to hard line. Grab some of the blue. And what does this look like? I'm going to do that to the fog. You know what? Good choice. I don't know. Oof. 
before, after, before. Too much. Take it down. Somewhere in there. Perfect. Levels. Levels check. I'm mainly looking at the background. Cool. Invert. Don't want it everywhere. Do want it over here. New layer and 26 minutes. So, what we're going to do is just indicate some of these. Okay. And just look at it overall and see what we can do in the remaining time. So, we're going to work on this smoke. Because the smoke is kind of fun. Uh, we have finger painting. There we go. Yep. There we go. And grab some of that green. Smudge it. Just preserve transparency on that guy. Grab some of the darker color and get some of that. There we go. New layer. Cool. Select everything. Control Shift C to copy everything. Paste. All right. Three minutes. Oh, forgot. We we're going to make this guy dripping wet, right? You know what? We're going to copy everything, make a new document, paste. We're going to scale it down, image size, down to 1200. And we're going to actual pixels that thing. We are going to uh, do that. And let's see. What if we duplicate this guy? Filter. Filter gallery. Oh, man. Can we do this in time? Uh, where is it? Plastic wrap, <laughs> uh, detail, smoothness, there we go, highlight strength, detail, detail, there we go, ah, perfect, cool, and then put a mask, invert the mask, and then put that on him, it's an old trick, but sometimes it works. All right, new layer. Oh man, let's just take this, fuzz it down, and set that to multiply in 30 seconds. Oh man, there we go. special effects and let's get a, a hit 
hit off his arm there. There we go. And maybe last little touch. There we go. Too much? Too much. minutes all right guys that is it thank you so much for watching uh, these are so much fun I'm having fun so <laughs> if you guys are liking these I sure appreciate the likes or the subscribes or shares because lets me know that you you are digging these and you want more I'm uh, working on some classes uh, and some things so uh, stay tuned. You can follow me on Facebook or um, or uh, subscribe to uh, me here on YouTube, and uh, you'll be notified when those classes drop, either talking about lighting or uh, design and fun things like that. So um, thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time.